In a previous video, we reviewed these fantastic retractable cable reels from Marcaddy. And one of the questions that came up following that video was related to the power ratings of extension leads. You'll see there's a difference between the power rating when they're fully uncoiled and when they're coiled up. So in today's video, we're going to ignore the manufacturer's instructions on this cable reel and fully load it with it fully wound up. Now I bought this extension lead from a well-known online retailer and we can see when it's fully uncoiled at 10 meters uh, cable length, it has a power rating of 13 amps or 3,120 watts. Flip it over and we'll see when it's fully coiled up, so no cable coming out of it is 5 amps and 1200 watts as a power rating. So we found something that's going to take a lot of power for a long time, and that's an electric vehicle, which is where a lot of people are buying extension leads. And we're going to see what happens when we put around 3000 watts on for a long time with this fully coiled. So I'm going to plug the granny lead, as it's called, into the EV. And on the end here, we've got a charger that'll charge at three kilowatts. And a lot of people use an extension lead because the leads that come with them are quite short. Plug that in there, and plug this into the mains, and let's get the charging started. Now I'm going to plug this in here. Uh, I've put the extension lead in the shade there, so it's not, uh, not going to be affected by the sun. We don't want to be unnecessarily uh, overloading it with the heat from the sun. Uh, interestingly, all extension leads have a thermal cutout on it, which we've kept in circuit so far, and we'll just see how long that actually takes to trip out as well. So we've just started here. It's 10.45. See how long that takes to pop out. I've also got the thermal camera out as well, because really it's heat that is the issue here. Because of the resistance of the cable itself, that generates a power loss, which is trapped inside the cable reel itself because the cables are wound and wound and wound on top of it. So each layer of cable is insulating itself from the free air, and that should cause this reel to heat up. But how much will it heat up? And how long will it take for that thermal trip to operate? Now we can actually calculate the power loss inside that extension lead using that equation P equals I squared R. So we know the current flowing in the extension lead from the uh, mount showing on the display for the charger. It's about 12.51 amps. And we've measured the resistance of the uh, conductors inside the uh, extension lead using the multifunction tester, and that comes out at 0.37 of an ohm. Now, let's take that current 12.51 square, that's 156-ish, multiplied by that 0 0.37 ohms, and we end up with 57.9 watts. Now, that's essentially having a small heater trapped inside the middle of our cable reel, but we've yet to see actually what happens as a result of that. Now it's 11.15, or about 30 minutes since we started the car charging, and reassuringly, the thermal trip has just cut out so the car has now stopped charging and if I put my finger in the side of the reel underneath into the, some of those inner layers of the PVC cable now is red hot so it's reassuring that that's happened however is that really enough for this trial what would happen if we removed the thermal cutout so it's now 11.22, I've removed the thermal cutout and the car's back on charge. We may be some time. So interesting, when you take a closer look at the thermal trip inside the extension lead, I can see it's got some uh, safety certification marks there, the CE mark that we find on everything. And it seems to be rated at 56 degrees C, plus or minus five degrees C, which would make sense because obviously PVC cables used inside that extension reel are usually rated to 70 degrees C. So we're back in the workshop with our extension lead. We left the car on charge for over six hours, which obviously takes a long time for these cars to charge up when you're charging from an extension lead. Interestingly, if we look on the thermal camera, we saw we started off at about 34 degrees measured on the surface. Uh, that got up to about 60 degrees at the time the uh, thermal trip cut out, which correlates similar to the 56 plus or minus five degree C written on there. When we took it out and carried it on for hours and hours, this got pretty toasty. Measured 90 degrees on the front surface, but interestingly when we turned it over onto the back surface, which again was trapped near the ground, less airflow probably in there, 122 degrees C. So let's have a look at what happened to the reel. Well, at the moment, it seems okay. So this is a 10 meter lead. Yeah, okay, so we're about, let's say, three or four meters in, and we can't pull any more off, so I think it's time to take this to bits. So dismantle the reel, and we can now see that the cable has really started to stick to each other, and we carry on peeling that. It is a bit 
of a sticky mess. And I guess I wonder how long this would have carried on until we'd ended up with a complete meltdown situation. Oh, there we go, starting to see the innards as that splits open. You can see there, we're almost uh, getting to the stage we can see some proper burning. We're nearly in, I guess, another few hours of that. We would have been in a fire situation. So I think this cable reel nightmare has proven why extension leads do indeed have two power ratings, one for when they're coiled and one for when they're uncoiled. Uh, the thermal trip is there to protect against this meltdown situation, but should be seen as a last resort, not something you should uh, seek to use on a daily basis. It also further shows when, when you're designing an electrical installation, we often hear talk about grouping factors when there are lots of cables grouped together, clipped along a wall in trunking, or within conduit and why you need to apply that because those cables together can heat each other up because they're essentially in a similar situation where the heat is trapped in that bundle of cables and could create a challenging situation like this. I will leave a link here for the video we made about the Marcadi retractable cable reels and interestingly there's even a special version for EV charging.